Their sign is, for the better service, we close for today for more training. Sorry, have a nice day. Good morning guys, welcome back to another video on my vlog. Today, we're gonna do our normal Sunday ritual. We're gonna go grab some food, and right now we're thinking we're gonna try this ramen spot that's about a block away from us. Um, I think they have a soft opening right now, so we haven't quite figured out if they're actually open. They don't even have a website or a phone number, but we're gonna walk down, we're gonna check it. If they, it's open, we're gonna grab some food. If not, we'll probably just walk around, grab a coffee, and see what else we can eat. Let's get our day started. Sorry, I really hate flying off <laughs> <laughs> Well, we came here and they aren't open. So their sign is, for the better service, we close for today for yesterday more training. We Sorry, have a nice day. We so, I... gotta go find something else right now, I guess. Where are we going? All right, so we're just gonna cross the street. We're gonna grab a coffee. I think that's probably the best thing to do right now. Never been here though, west of Java. Looks like they serve some bean around the world coffee, so it's probably pretty good. Mm, pretty good. <laughs> My fucking face was literally just looking back at you, just being like. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, that's a candy. Mm, that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> It's super sweet. It's like kind of like, it kinda like what I need. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm in a moving car right now. The window's open. I'm testing out the new mic that I got yesterday. So we're gonna go to Osaka at Park Royal. We want a dim sum, but nowhere serves dim sum at 2:55 in the afternoon. Um, at least that we know of. Uh, we probably should have got up earlier to get some food. So we're gonna head there. So hopefully you guys can hear me using this mic. But we're heading to Park Royal right now. All right, so we didn't get our dim sum. Well, we did get our dim sum, but we didn't go to dim sum. We went to Osaka and we went a little too ham. So we've got a bunch of stuff here. Um, everyone's got some various things, but as you can see, probably spent as much as if we were to go to dim sum. Derek's rocking that beef brisket like he always does. Oh yeah. My aunt came back from Australia the other day and she brought some goodies. So as you can see, I have three things that I'm gonna try here. Um, Two of these I haven't seen before, so I'm gonna hold up the kangaroo jerky and also the crocodile jerky. But I have tried Tim Tams before. They now sell Tim Tams in Canada, so I'm actually a big fan of these. So this is Mariani, if I'm not pronouncing it right, I'm sorry, game jerky, and this one is crocodile. Doesn't look like there's any flavor attached to it, so I'm just gonna assume they use like a secret blend, but honestly, I'll about product. Honestly, it'll probably be pretty good. So I'm gonna start with this one first. Let's tear this open. So right away, I get a pretty good sniff of what's going on in here. Whoa, what the hell? Smells like beef jerky, but the consistency looks super weird. So as you can see, obviously it's a lighter meat as crocodile would be. Um, kind of looks like it's, almost looks like bread or like a piece of cracker, but that's kind of what it looks like right here. Um, I'm going to have my first try of it, so. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh. I'm not too into that, but you know what? I'll give it another try. Yeah. Mm, I'll leave that for now. Oh, I'll be right back. Hey, water. Yeah. <clears throat> not a big fan of those uh, crocodile jerkies. Spices were on it weren't, weren't bad, but just the consistency and the taste of the jerky itself you actually get, I don't really like, so. I'm gonna hold off on those and we're gonna try our next one. So right here we have kangaroo, but there looks like there's, yeah, it looks like there's a flavor attached to it. So there is sweet and hot, which will be pretty good because that's actually one of my favorite flavors of beef jerky. But I've never had kangaroo personally, so this will be super interesting. So let's get this over.
So first thing is, is when I smell it, it smells a little fishy to be honest. But I don't know if that's like the mixture of the meat itself and also the sweet and hot um, paste or whatever rub they put it in. But I mean, it's not bad, but it definitely does smell like fish and it uh, kind of catches off you off guard a little bit. Hmm. All right, so I'll pull one out. And these look a little bit more like beef jerky. They're cut into little rectangle pieces here. A um, little bit of a thicker cut than beef jerky usually would be. So I'm gonna do my first taste test. Oh, this one's hard to break. I might just bite this one. Mmm. Honestly, really close to beef jerky. This one's really good. There's still this like feeling that you're eating kangaroo though, which kind of lingers. Like, if I didn't open the bag and someone just gave this to me and offered me a piece of this, I wouldn't have think it was kangaroo. But now that I do with every bite I have of it, I'm just like, my stomach doesn't really like it, but I'm sure it'll adapt to this like, oh shit. Mm. So these are from the same company. Mm. I do prefer these kangaroo pieces better. But it does have a flavor which is sweet and hot, so it's like, I think that does mask a lot of the, the flavor of the kangaroo itself, but I'm also a fan of these. I would get these. Give you a little comparison. Crocodile, kangaroo, definitely a fan, fan of the kangaroo more. Oh, my battery's about to die. I don't like though. Uh, these aren't a resealable package. Wait, what? It tells you to refrigerate it after opening. Is that a thing? Is that what you're supposed to do with beef jerky? I've never in my life put beef jerky in the fridge. I'm gonna try the Tim Tam. Oh yeah. So, that's what they look like. Shit, whoops. I'm gonna put those back. Mmm. Oh, those are so good. I also gotta put them away though because I will eat this whole pack. There you have it, very short taste test, but I just wanted to show you what my aunt got me and a few things I ate, so. Crocodile game jerky, kangaroo game jerky, and some Tim Tams. I don't know how Australian that is, I've never been to Australia, but I mean, I've never seen the jerkies here, so. Yeah, honestly, crocodile was, it wasn't bad, but I definitely don't think I'm a fan of it. But the kangaroo jerky, I would definitely get that again. So if you guys are ever looking for something new to try, guys, and you're in Australia, or maybe they have it here, try this Mariani game jerky, delicious.